Iran is interested in buying new Russian weapons to enhance its defense capacities, Iranian ambassador to Russia Kazim Jalali said in an interview with the Commerçant Daily. Indeed, it is so, he said answering the question if Tehran was interested in Russia's new weapons. We will hold consultations with Russia on what we need to enhance our defense capacities. The Russian government and the Russian people have always been by our side in times of trouble. Russia is our priority partner in this sense, he stressed. The Buck M3, Beach M3, is a brand new Russian air defense system. It uses new missile and has advanced electronic components. It has much improved capabilities comparing with the older Buck systems. It outperforms even the old S-300P long-range air defense system. Development of the Buck M3 began back in the year 1990. Though development process was plagued with delays. First operational Buck M3 systems were delivered to the Russian army in 2016. It is planned that it will replace the older Buck M1 systems. This air defense system can engage tactical and strategic aircraft, helicopters, short-range ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, air-launched missiles, anti-radiation missiles, guided bombs and other aerodynamic vehicles. This air defense system can operate in heavy enemy jamming conditions. A Buck M3 Teeler vehicle is fitted with radar, missile erector and launcher, and friend or foe identification system. It is operated by a crew of four. Teeler carries a pod with six containerized missiles. Such modular approach speeds up reloading of the vehicle. Also it is significant improvement over older Buck systems that carry only four missiles. Radar of the Buck M2E Turl searches for targets, tracks them and guides missiles on them. The system has a third-generation phased array fire control radar. Also there is a TEL vehicle that lacks radar, but carries two pods with a total of 12 missiles. It acquires firing data from the Buck M3 Teeler vehicle or command post vehicle. Essentially this unique launcher vehicle acts as a force multiplier. Similar concept was used on the older Buck systems. However these use reloading vehicles that can launch missiles themselves rather than separate TELs. The Buck M3 uses a new 9M317M missile. This missile was first publicly revealed in 2006. It has a totally different design than older Buck missiles. It is more compact than missiles used on the Buck M1 and Buck M2 systems. Performance of the new missile improved significantly comparing with the older Buck missiles. The new missile has a range of up to 70 kilometers. Maximum altitude is 35 kilometers. Minimum range of fire is 2.5 kilometers and minimum altitude is around 15 meters. The missile is fitted with high explosive fragmentation warhead. In case of emergency missiles can be launched against contrast surface targets, such as ships. Missiles of the Buck M3 are stored in and launched from containers. It is worth noting that the Buck was the last Soviet Russian mobile air defense system that had its missiles stored openly, rather than in containers. A prototype Teeler of the Buck M3 was based on a GM569 special track chassis. This vehicle is powered by a diesel engine. It seems that it develops 840 horsepower. However some sources report that production version will be based on a new GM5969 track chassis with seven road wheels. It takes about five minutes to prepare vehicle for launch from traveling. Normally the Buck M3 Teeler operates as part of an air defense unit. A battery of Buck M3 Teelers and Tells is controlled by an automated control system. There is also a command post vehicle, detection and target designation radar, and reloading vehicles. Elsewhere in his remarks, Kazim Jalali stressed that the countries that were targeted by Washington's sanctions pressure could unite their efforts for jointly countering U.S. policy. I believe it's high time we created a club of countries hit by sanctions. Among its members will be many strong powers with developed economies. Russia, China and Iran, the diplomat said. According to him, such states should help each other in order to offset negative influence of US steps. 
the diplomat stressed that Washington does not want to see any rivals whose positions in any region would be stronger than those of the U.S. They want Russia to be weak, China to be economically subordinated to them and Iran to become their colony. That's why we need to cooperate, help each other and complement each other," Jalali said. We have got huge opportunities and we just need to show political will and make efforts in order to develop this potential in a right way. Iran has something to offer Russia and China. We are a large country with big and rather young population. We have got many mineral resources and advanced technologies. If we make joint efforts we will overcome US pressure," the ambassador emphasized.